Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are, whenever you are, and welcome to episode 22 of my podcast, The Devil and the Deep Blue Me, and I am your host, Rich Brook. And if you haven't already, tighten up your fanny pack, or, or if you're listening in the UK, your bum bag, and go ahead and grab something green, and give a smile and nod to the next woman you see, and Of course, indulge in a nice big panda bear hug to your bestie. And join me in celebrating all things March today. And naturally for the for the rest of the month as well, which incidentally was at one time, in fact, the very first month of the year. So happy new year as well. And welcome to today's episode where, at least in my area anyway, we we move into the first day of March break. And, as also typical to my area, going from cold, snowy, blizzard-like conditions yesterday to uh, blue, sunny skies today. Ah, March break. (laughs) I remember it well. Referring back to my, my school days, of course, I remember how exciting it was to have this little break, a, a sign that spring was in the air, which naturally was also very close to having another two months off for the summer being right around the corner, but March break was a a much-needed separation from classroom redundance, and just a good all-round chance to sleep in and and do what I wanted when I wanted and, and reset the balance of life yet again. So I am sure that there are lots of happy campers out there today, and that is great. And yeah, I, I had no idea, but it's uh, but it kind of makes sense. March was, in fact, at one point, obviously many many years ago, the very first month of the year. It's true. The early uh, Roman calendar designated March first as the the first day of the ten month year. With uh, you know a little bit of logic, I was able to make sense of. I mean, if the nine if the ninth through the twelfth months of our our current calendar were, of course, uh, originally positioned as the 7th through the 10th months, then uh, that com- completely makes sense as to why they are even named the way that they are. I mean, September is, is Latin for 7, and Octo for 8, and Novem for 9, and Decem, well, you get the idea. So there you go. Just another little tip, just another little bit of info that I can offer to hopefully make things just, uh, you know, a little more clear, make make a little more sense to you in this mad, mad world. And of course, as well as uh, as March break, March is also full of other weird and wacky holidays. I mean, there's of course St. Patrick's Day, and and I and I do have some Irish in me. So, I mean, not that I'm terribly active with my my heritage or whatnot, but it it's definitely a good time to have a few laughs and a few drinks and sing a few songs and. And just have a good time. And I, I, I believe that this St. Patrick's Day will be the fourth anniversary of not playing on St. Patrick's Day. As I had typically done prior to that almost every year since I was, I don't know, 16 or so. But my, my final St. Patrick's Day booking was St. Patrick's Day 2020, which, which of course was, the, uh, was when the pandemic was just moving in and Obviously, uh, having that show canceled, incidentally, at one of my my favorite places to play, which is now no longer, also due to the began- pandemic, and that was the the last St. Patrick's Day booking that I that I have had since. But without getting all doom and gloom, there are uh, also other sub- celebratory days in March. Why, in fact, just the other day was. Uh, and I really don't quite get this one, but it was, uh, it was in fact, International Fanny Pack Day. International Fanny Pack Day, of all things. Which I believe falls on the second Saturday of every March. Well, at least for the last, uh, I don't know, 15 years or so. Not entirely sure why we need to celebrate something like that. Why we need to have a a designated international holiday for such a thing, but uh, but we do. And I, I guess if bum bags or, or fanny packs are your thing, and, and, and of course they mean much more to you than any other bag, backpack, briefcase, purse, luggage, 
well then I guess it's worth celebrating. So if you missed it this year and you are you are one of those people you had better put it in your calendar for next year so that you don't miss it again. Now I will be honest I do have somewhat of a of a bag fetish myself. I, I have also been on the hunt for the perfect one for uh, forever and, and and now over the the course of my adult life I have uh, accumulated several all of which are just perfect for what they are intended all of which have made my life better at some point and all of which are probably just the intro to what I will accumulate accumulate over the rest of my life as well but I just don't understand why we why we need to segregate why we again need to divide why is it that we need to be prejudiced to all of the other wonderful, convenient, practical, and attractive bags out there and only celebrate fanny packs? Or, I'll say it again just because I like the name better, the bum bag. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's just me. Anyway, lots of days to celebrate in March. There's a International Women's Day, of course, and I'm still waiting to celebrate International Men's Day, but so far... No one has got on board with that one. We also have uh, National Panda Day, a day dedicated to raising awareness about the adorable and, of course, endangered giant panda, which I think is fantastic. And, of, of course, aside from, uh, from Good Friday, we also have National Reading Month and Disability Awareness Month and Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Month and Kidney Month. So if celebrating and, and holidays are your thing, well, then it would, it would seem as, uh, that March is probably the best month of the year for you. And I think that if, uh, if everybody actively celebrated every single holiday or, or awareness day in March, well, March break would then uh, probably consist of about 31 days. Regardless, happy whatever it is you are celebrating day to you. And if you aren't celebrating anything, then uh, then you can join me in celebrating my new release to be coming out at the end of the week, Friday, March 16th, end of the line. Mark this one in your calendar, folks. Definitely not going to be one that you, uh, that you want to miss. And if you have not bothered yourself to listen to anything else I've done, you definitely will not want to miss out on this one. I assure you... It will make you happy, and I assure you it will make you feel good. And hopefully, not many of you will be able to relate directly, but if you can, my heart and my sympathy go out to you. So yes, definitely check that one out and uh, when it comes out. Friday the 16th. End of the line. Not what you would uh, typically expect from me, I wouldn't think at this point, but definitely a hint to all of you to drop any expectations that you may have, for I will prove to be full of surprises in the coming months and years. Some I will alienate and some I will embrace and love it or hate it, whatever it might be. Whenever it might come, I'm sure that there will be something somewhere out there of the Richbrook collection that you will enjoy. At least that's my goal. My, uh, my taste in music has always been extremely wide. I have uh, never limited my listening to one style or genre or decade, and alas, I have decided to unleash that beast into the wild by way of the, the music I create, which will prove to be uh, just as diverse and vast as the collection of songs and artists that, have been, uh, that I have enjoyed my entire life. Anyway, please, if you would, check it out. End of the line, March 16th. And seriously, I, I, I do hope that you like it. I, I hope you will like it and share it with all of your friends. And add it to your happy-go-lucky playlists. And uh, aside from the millions of streams that would, of course, satisfy my urge to be recognized for the music I create, will also make me feel very good to know that I have made you feel very good. So... Incidentally, if it does, let me know. Reach out with a with a comment or a, a voice message or an email or anywhere that you can see me or see me or find me or, or hear me. Notice me. Return the favors so that I can notice you as well. And in the meantime, 
as you are enjoying all things March, whatever that might be, wherever that might be, I will look forward to hearing from you very soon and will also be talking to you again very soon as well. But until then, have a safe and happy week.